After riding the Hogwarts Express to Hogsmeade and departing the train depot, we headed towards the village. And already, my mind was running rampant with imagination. Imagining that it was the peak of wintertime and we'd arrived to find snowfall gently pouring over Hogsmeade. The world of reality does have its limits, but the world of imagination is boundless. A perfectly accurate statement that I've heard that I thought about as I wandered. A soft blanket of fresh snow lying on the rooftops. The cold season's window shoppers taking notice of strange oddities behind the window's curvature. And mugs of butterbeer were poured in abundance throughout the marketplace for the thirsty patrons. Edged within a group of buildings with highly pitched roofing and long, narrow chimneys lies the popular inn and pub of the wizarding village of Hogsmeade, Three Broomsticks, a place frequented by many students of nearby Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, including Harry Potter and his friends. And although we had eaten not long before, it was here we were looking forward to a second lunch. A quick gander at the special of the day, and we would then head inside to experience one of the inn's unique British cuisine offerings. cleverly disguised as Harry's secretive entrance under his invisibility cloak. Sarah and I entered three broomsticks and were quickly mesmerized with the interior surroundings as we made our way further inside. A stack of freshly chopped firewood posed within the walls, waiting and ready to provide open flame for cooking up the wide assortment of menu options showed behind the rustic window pane here. Looking back, I've wondered why I didn't choose the great feast menu item, opting for another plate presentation, of which I'll show you here shortly. Sarah stood waiting patiently for our turn to order. What looked good? Did you see all the food on the display? So much to have here at Three Burnsticks. Hey, look, they got butter beers, you see? Yeah. Some really foamy butter beers. The interior design of Three Broomsticks is the same set theming used in Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince. Just the architecture, you see that? Like that? Yeah. It's so awesome. After our first lunch of the day, Sarah wasn't as hungry as I was at this point. Did you vlogging? Yeah, doing a little vlogging. What's up, you too? It's okay. <laughs> so we can each get something. I know I can't eat all of them right now. I tried to convince her to order her favorite, fish and chips. But in the end, we decided to just share a dish together. And although, Butterbeer sounded great. For our drink, we went with the house lemonade. We'll do lemonade. After you order, you're sent to a line to await your food. This gave me the perfect chance to get a closer look at the rustic kitchen area. With its darkened wood columns, countertops, and dim lighting, it set the mood well for a cold, weathered tavern with an old Scottish feel. 
I also carefully observed the food selections of other hungry travelers while we awaited our order. It had me second guessing. We chose the rotisserie smoked chicken that is served with corn on the cob and roasted potatoes. For a second lunch, it was most pleasing to the eyes. Navigating the halls of the tavern in search of proper seating. We were ready to rest our bones for the moment and share in some Harry Potter inspired British food fare. So, what brings you here? Oh, three broomsticks and I go way back further than I care to admit. Got a little bit. Hot and ready for tasting, we would now feast and take subtle observance of the enchanting rooms, decor, and fixtures that surrounded us while we dined. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. The chicken, roasted potatoes, and that corn on the cob. Well, they all hit the mark. With another captivating memory recorded and placed away in time without end, our stop at Three Broomsticks had concluded, and we happily ventured on to our next unveiling.